Hi David, uh, email free. Okay, uh, so we're going to talk about your training and recovery in this session. Okay, so your training uh, is the same as the nutrition. All right, we have a base start point and then we individualize it for you as a person. Okay, so we use a set, set principles and then we adapt and amend and evolve your training as we adapt, amend and evolve your nutrition or coaching. Okay, um, <coughs> there'll be a lot of uh, resistance based training, okay, um, as this is shown to be the most effective way of uh, adapting your physique uh, in, in for any for any training parameters, okay, be it uh, fat loss, for to get your health and well being, for get leaner, to get stronger, to get bigger, to improve your athletic performance, okay, resistance training uh, will and does help. The key is um, continual adaptation, okay, uh, and that's, we plan that in, all right, so, <coughs> excuse me, we look at every session, you do more, you do better than the one before, Okay, so uh, bear that in mind. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, a um, couple of myths. All right, no pain, no gain. Rubbish. Okay, you get that <coughs> uh, after a workout. Technical name: DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. Okay, because a, it's new. The exercise is new to you, or b, uh, you haven't done it for a while. All right, so. If this style of training is new to you, you will have a bit of soreness after the first few sessions. But by week four, five, three even, we all adapt at different speeds. You won't have such soreness, if any, after your workouts. Okay, it depends on how much you invest in, how much you put into it in, uh, in terms of uh, optimising your recovery. We'll go on to that in a minute. Okay, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, just another myth to clarify, all right, um, lifting weights makes me big, crap, okay, lifting weights doesn't necessarily make you big, okay, uh, toning, that is actually what happens when you lift weights, you exercise muscle, you may put on some lean mass, and hopefully you'll reduce your body fat, okay, which will result in you becoming more toned, ironically, okay, so just bear that one in mind. Um, so, with regards to recovery, Okay, now talk a bit about your nutrition, right? That's important. All right? You need the, the raw ingredients for your body to function, to repair, to okay, the damage that you do in your training sessions. All right, the other couple of things you need to do is fluid. All right, massively important. Okay, so if you take one thing from this video, write it down now. Okay, for each twenty-five kilos of you, as a rule of thumb, you need one liter of fluid a day. So I'm a hundred, just over 100 kilos, so I need at least 4 litres of fluid a day. And that doesn't include what I drink when I train. Well, and it shouldn't include what you drink when you train. Because when you're sweating a lot, you're just replacing that sweat. Okay, that's just a daily average. So if that's miles out for you, build it up, otherwise you'll be pissing for Britain for the first couple of days while your body adjusts. Okay. Um, we go into sleep. In oh my video's frozen. All right, back, back with it. Right, we go into sleep. Okay, in uh, a later email. So we'll discuss that a little bit more there. <coughs> Excuse me, horrible cough. Okay. Um, so another thing to bear in mind. Okay. Um, training three times a week. We go into this a little bit more detail later. Isn't enough to get that adaptation. And what I mean by that is. If I sit on my ass all day, every day, okay, and then I train for three hours a week, all right, that's not going to get the adaptation you want. Okay, and this is where that soreness post-workout, if you're so sore after every workout that you, you're not fully recovered for the next workout and you can't move without being in agony day after day, then your recovery isn't optimal. Something isn't right. Something isn't working correctly. So we need to look at things like your hydration, your sleep, your nutrition. Are we pushing you too hard? Okay, so these are things that we look at 
communication with you helps as well. We'll ask you things. All right, so just be uh, honest with us, and we will uh, get you um, to where you want to be or working towards where you want to be. Right, so remember that rule for hydration, okay? One litre per 25 kilos of you. Um, tomorrow, we're going to start going into a little bit more detail about food. Okay, cheers, bye.